Remember, the longer the time span between finishing something and receiving feedback, the less a student is going to care. So we have this problem where we ask students to do work and to turn it in, and no matter how quick we are to get them feedback, there's still that gap of time where students are emotionally detached from their work. So when they get the feedback back, number one, they feel like they're done. They're done, they turned it in. You give them feedback, like, what? You want me to go back and do this? But I was done. Uh, there's your first problem. And then the second problem is, of course, there's just been a span of time, and they've moved on, and they're thinking about something else. So to be really impactful with our feedback, we want to try and get it in the middle of the process, before they turn it in. We don't want the assignments to be about the turn-in. You'd like the assignments to be about the process and improvement. So in order to get kids to care about the learning and the process, then that's where the feedback needs to live. And this is where technology can help us, using something like Google Docs, where the teacher and the student can be simultaneously in the same document at the same time, and get that feedback so that by the time the student turns it in, they've already gotten their feedback and know that they are on the right track.